Good. Let's get this party started in here. In Ah, actually. Yeah. Get it started in Ah. Correct. Yeah. Man, eight years. Can you believe that shit? No. I've been playing video games on the internet and people have been... Person's been watching them. It's been great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that looks a lot better than it did when I was first yeah. trying this out. Getting the resolution to work was a bitch. Remember when we had to resize it every single time? Oh yeah, that was obnoxious. Now it's only this time. Man, this slaps. <laughs> yeah. Say. That is something the children do say. Yeah. Just ask Paul Rudd. He'd know. Yeah. Quit moving around so much, Paul Rudd. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah, I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes, I do. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. So, this game is pretty great. Yeah. Uh, I I played it about ten years ago. Came out, like, way longer than that ago. But uh, Yeah, these are pretty old. Yeah. Uh... Taha's also huge into this, and uh, he does plan on being here later. Uh, he had a prior commitment. Yeah. One of these days, we're going to finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. Yeah, they would civil forfeiture. Oh, yeah. Bunch of darts. Yeah, it makes sense. Trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. <laughs> Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quieter times. <laughs> <laughs> they say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Looks like Bob Ross. Yeah, yeah, it does. However, who that character is is actually pretty big later. Oh, okay. Not in this one, but in one of the other ones. Yeah. Because it comes out in like a six episode deal. Gotcha. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. <laughs> so. This is actually a remake of the first one, which was like a 90s DOS one. Oh, gotcha. So so this is like the souped up HD edition that I couldn't get to run in the proper resolution because it's now old enough. Now the <laughs> remake is old enough to have those problems. Life yeah. troubling your digestion. Reality blocking your passages. Expel your troubles with emetics. The handbook for multicolored happiness and separate your bliss. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum. Oh, I remember that. Self help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect. I'll take two. Ha oh, man. I forgot about Hugh Bliss and his whole his whole thing. Yeah. Whee! 
All right. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. Yeah. Just look at some shit. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. They'd be incorrect about that. Which is why I haven't tried it. <laughs> 20 years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. Ah, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Jesus. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, there it is. The mouse is blind. Also, uh, can't, also can't open doors. Yeah. But unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. Can you? Shoot the hey, cheese. Max. When is it, Sam? Yes. Yes, I believe I believe that's what I do. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, yeah. I forgot how to shoot though. You just I think, uh, I think whip I, your gun out and you like. Well, uh, no, I know that, but you just kind of point. I don't remember how to pull the how to pull the gun out. I'm very helpless. Uh. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Yeah. Mm. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? Oh. This is it. Ah. Pop, pop, pop. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. Uh... <laughs> Voila. Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila. Greetings. The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. I also let's like how... Let's the smarmy little skis and the, see if the phone's in there. The phone in this one's like a rotary phone? Give me two teeth and okay. Uh, well, I <laughs> Cause, Cause that's what a phone was? At any point yeah. ever in time? Yeah. We've met your demands, we got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents Ugh. are not known for being particularly honorable. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! I can take care of myself. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny trash eating neck. <laughs> I you forgot that you can just do You don't know where You could be Sam them. when you want to. When I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? A dog face. Your partner's giving me a headache. Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Can I go now? 
Do I actually have to do all this? Or? I'm thinking about I stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry, amateurs. Maybe I'll lock you in our file cabinet. So? In three separate drawers. You bore me. A dog face. Your partner's giving me a headache. Hand over the phone or I'll make you lick my German crusted palms. Yeah, yeah, I've licked worse. Like what? You don't even want to know. Can I go now? Damn. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait, no, I, I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ass guy. All right, all right. Have mercy. I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up. Take your phone and let me go. <coughs> ah, for the love of. I wish I could unsee that. <laughs> Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance. Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. So then our our first uh, like secondary character comes up here. He's this guy's great. Whee! No, not here. Just trying to remember the layout of this town. Because in, in this game, you actually just straight up walk where you want to go. Oh. What you want, kid? Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Yowzers, you are one ugly kid. Hey, I know you. Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that old TV show about the singing soda jerks. It's called the Soda Poppers, and the 70s are not old. Specs, it's you! Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great! Boy, you sure were a famous Remember when you were famous? celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, we're really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt! Make it out to Squinky! I don't sign butts anymore. People get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Oh. <laughs> what was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up, or something like that. Huh. You made me mess up. Which you just did, thanks a lot. Oh, yeah. So that's actually important to remember. Oh, okay. That that's like a clue to a later thing. Hey, hey, Jeff. Oh shit, it's Jeff. Oh shit, it's Jeff. Fuck. Fuck. So specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. He's Brady the Culture. The genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Ibo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Yeah. Ibo is the truly visionary ocular fitness program. Try the video today. Where can I find a copy of the video? They carry them over at Bosco. You should get it. Sounds fascinating. But enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's that, Ibo. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that that's Brady Culture, I'm pretty sure. 
So, Specs, what to? are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life. Oh, his name oh yeah, is sorry. Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Sounds fascinating. But you can never... Tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg! It's Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. I'd rather try a fried egg. Where can I... F they can... Is it putting me down this path again? Yeah. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? Everyone loves Brady culture. God damn it. I'm yeah. out of here. We'll leave you to it. Yeah. You have to agree to paint me I kind of forgot Sorry. that Sam and Max were cops. Brady culture. Max Grimm celebrity tell all today. Not, uh, oh, yeah. On not Channel a fan? 173, the child cops. Stalks. No, Nathan's terror levels lower to general anxiety. Have no fear. Simple. I thought it was Nathan's terror, and I was like, "Yeah, you can say that again." Hello. It's just you two. Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA. Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist, a Munchkin terrorist. He'll be the death of us all. Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there. Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers. Isn't he the one with the bladder control issues? Yeah, Whizzer. He's a former child star. Oh, <clears throat> just lock him up and throw away the jail. <laughs> <laughs> throw away the jail. When the jail gets thrown away, the key one of us needs to was take in the jail. And you should take a few yourself. How can I be calm with the Munchkin terrorist in my store? Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's eyeball, what is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And well, maybe, it's maybe you can get on the ground floor of it. Any white maybe if you were like that. I hear that. <laughs> Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think I mean, maybe you could no get on the ground floor and recruit maybe, say, 10 people under you, then I'll recruit 10 no people sense. under you. I smell a conspiracy! I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. No, it's definitely a conspiracy. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, head lice, Lynn Pastrami, hairspray, tail tail. Stop right there. Hairspray had no part <laughs> in this. Oh, sure. That's what you'd like to believe. This is what Telltale was doing before Walking Dead. Yeah. <laughs> Have you actually witnessed this Ivo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. I you watch it. I I do have the Gromit game, the Wallace and Gromit game. I got that for free at some point. I don't know if that was like Humble Bundle or what, but I do have the. I haven't played them yet. Uh, the Strong Bad game. I wasn't that the Strong Bad's game for attractive people, because I've heard of that. Uh, like getting pushed on new grounds way back in the day but i haven't any uh, other heinous terrorist activities to report it. yes he keeps using my bathroom who knows what he's doing in there i think i know so we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker not even the national guard can help us now i think we got it okay anything else 
We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So what do you <laughs> want to buy? <laughs> what have you got? Well, I head. still got that big sale <laughs> on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese. I want that. And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. I accept okay. your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh, yeah, I really want that. It's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out a room of militant college students in no time. Guaranteed. I feel really close to you right now. I'll let that one sit. Yeah. A lot of my friends got tear gassed. That was a uh, was rough. We'd but like yeah, of course, of launcher. course, we That'll need this yeah. for our video game item bucks. and progression. We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Well, one really big one. You mean white collar crime drive? Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. That's not what I thought you were going to say, that, uh, but that's good too. That, that actually is kind of one of the things about Sam and Max, is that... that uh, uh, which one's the, the rabbit? I think that's Max. Um, uh, Max is like actually like a diagnosed psychopath. Oh, yeah. So... We'll take that cheese that's just been sitting out in the open for everyone to touch. I can't scan it from way back here. You gotta bring it to the counter so I can ring it up. Do we have to do everything around? What was the thing We'd like tear that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be $10,000. Oh, yeah. Oh, were you serious about that? It's a bargain. Trust me. Trust me. I never trust a man that says trust me twice. We gotta find an illegally wealthy motorist. And quick! Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. I wonder how many they got. Do you have any candy pink <laughs> fat boys? Nope. Do you have any exiled political dissidents? <laughs> nope. Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any... Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. Do okay. you have any weasels? On nope. Cool. Nothing for All us right. right now. Okay. <laughs> we'll chat more later as evil doer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all. Special on cheese. Only one piece left. You can never have too much cheese. Not ever. Can I not take it? One dollar lottery tickets. Two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. What do we have here? Organ trader? Self-loading weekly? Oh, let me see that. No thanks. I brought my lunch today. <laughs> hot weenies. Look, Sam, Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. Free videos? Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's Ibo for ocular fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so Very revolutionary good. about it? See through walls and clothing, roll your eyes at lightning speed, lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh, good. Oh, I got to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel coated sugar logs. Did I ever tell you about that one infomercial I woke up to once back when I had regular TV? Oh, yeah. Um, like, they were like, yeah, sometimes just feces can be stuck on the digestive tract and it can be up to 25 pounds. Oh my god. Like, so so all you need to do is take this and clean yourself out. This random infomercial 4 a.m. supplement. 
Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Damn. And, uh... So, I was just thinking about... Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No just need to be formal, 25 pounds just of shit wizard, and so that you're just carrying at all times. People like you I've never met. Everyone calls me wizard. <laughs> what exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen. Okay. Who exactly Who is this, is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture <laughs> is a genius, and his Ibo program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. What can you tell me about Ibo? One eight hundred victim a too. New program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and ocular fitness. Hmm. Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Oh, right. Sorry. Well, that's nice. What is? So you're you breaking, breaking the law. Breaking the law? Come on, guys. There's no law against giving away free stuff. Unlawful deliveries are punishable under Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal, Private, Public, Professional Conduct Penal Code. You made that up. True, but we could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. I have to deliver these videos. Boy, what a monotonoid. Can we arrest him now? In a minute, little buddy. Everyone My cousin's wife's show. dentist loved your show. Oh, yeah. We've always <laughs> been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey, kids, guzzle soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. <laughs> Just a big, big conspiracy. Yeah. Any chance we could get you to sing the song from your old show? Yeah, the theme song. What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks, but I can't sing it. I'm too embarrassed. How about an autograph okay. for my pal, Max? You could write, to Max, thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more video. No time? Shit. Don't they give you bathroom breaks? <laughs> sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. There was an incident. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you anything like the character you played on the TV show? Yeah, but do you really have to hit the John every five minutes? Sometimes every three minutes. It's like having a superpower. You really need to get that looked at. That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like... you're, you're, you're gonna die, my friend. <laughs> that is... <laughs> That's really bad. <laughs> Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Like yeah, what incontinence. was it? Bowl cleanser, adult diapers, erectile dysfunction? All three. <laughs> well, that's nice. What is So so a lot of this uh just going through every prompt thing is gaining information that will be important later. Like <laughs> uh like it, it there's a lot of like learning who these characters are and what makes them tick that you have to like use for like the puzzles later. Apply to solve the mystery. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's cool. Put your hands on your head. You're yeah. under arrest. Oh, come on! It's a free country. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's... Who told you that? <laughs> this guy's suffering from some pretty severe delusions. <laughs> if you'll excuse us, we'll I do appreciate to that. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got one. Thanks. Sludgies. 
with 100% all-natural sludge. This week's flavors, wheatgrass and meatloaf. Mmm. <laughs> I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. Next, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six Hulk feet smash. of green soil. Go on. Maybe another time. Oh, man. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the time I almost burned my old place of work to the ground? No. Because I was an idiot with the microwave? No, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, so, a Chick-fil-A opened outside, and I was like, no. Fuck you. And, uh... And so, like, they dropped off a bunch of free food. They were like, hey, here's, we're open next door, and here's what we do. And I was like, and I, I know what you do. I've heard all about it. And then, I, I didn't really say that to the people. I'm not that brave. But, uh, but they dropped a bunch of free food, and I was like, no, I'm not going to eat that. But then I was like, well, it's just sitting here. And if I don't eat it, we're just going to throw it away. I'll eat it, but I'll never support them. And, uh, I thought that they were in little paper packages so that they would heat up when you, uh, when you put them in the microwave. Little did I know that those packages are aluminum foil. And I threw that in the microwave. And it, like, I just started hearing boom, 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 boom. And, <laughs> and I was like, uh, what? And that's, then I, that's not a great noise for a microwave. Yeah. <laughs> and I see sparks flying inside of it and stuff, and I I quickly turn it off, and there's a little bit of a fire on on the thing. Oh, oh man. Uh, on the packaging, so I blow I blow the fire out. It's all good. There's a lot of a smoke in the break room at that point. <laughs> and, uh, and I was like, okay, maybe that's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> That, that was what happened. They're mine, not Joe's. Very good. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. It's, it's like they did have purple ketchup at one point. Oh, man. I think they had a green ketchup specifically for Shrek. Yeah, that makes sense. Bathroom terror level. Red, extreme terror. Yellow, lots of terror. Green. Probable terror. Tongues placed on freezer become property of Bosco. I got quite a few tongues that way. Huh. Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. This is the landlines. Huh. Children preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because <laughs> I'm uncommonly photogenic. I remember I I was very uh like the thought of purple ketchup made me sick. No, Which yeah, that does sound disgusting. Children preserve. I want. I uh. I mean, it's no different from actual ketchup. Public Which is disgusting on its own. To but... all I suppose, but I'm like going there for all the TNT landia. I'll do it. Oh shit. Uh oh. Time out for number one. Time Looks out like for number one. Gates. I hope he enjoys it as much as that's, I did. That's his uh, catchphrase. It's currently being terrorized. But now that he's gone... The crate that delivers Bosco's terror. Okay. Oh, shit. Hey, wizard. Uh, Hi! I know there was something I was supposed to do. I was supposed to... If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. I'm supposed Take to a make copy him, of the uh, eyeball video while you're at it. Run away. It will change your life. We got one, thanks. And then I can, like do something to him, but I think I'm going to go back and watch the Ibo video. Alright. I kind of forget how this goes, because I played this ten years ago. <laughs> yeah. 
that being the thing. There's a fire hydrant. It takes me back to my childhood. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. He's a dog. That's right. Yeah. Hmm. One of the few dogs I'd say is actually kind of a bad dog. He he is a bit of a bad dog. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans <laughs> in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. <laughs> it says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. <laughs> it says cloning rights activists are cloning themselves to create a bigger voting block. It works for locusts. I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure it locked the door. Yeah. I'm gonna go watch some best of the worst VHS tape. Yeah. Here. You know, how when you try to put something in the VCR, you first have to play walk into the corner of the room. <laughs> okay, Max, ready for that <laughs> ocular workout? No, stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick, before it starts. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. Jesus. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse. The massive Damn, that looks some kind of way. For six episodes in 1970. Hmm. What you are about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines. You love me. You adore me. You want to name all your children after me. I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. Sam, look. Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Two Teeth. I think I like him better this way. We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. Oh God, what was the self-help video that I that I got? It was this like hypnotist that like I was I was suffering from some. Uh, some uh, insomnia, like chronic insomnia, um, and uh, like I was getting a little desperate, and then my mom had to like got me this hypnotist that was supposed to like hypnotize you into getting to sleep, and that shit stressed me the fuck out, <laughs> and that did the exact opposite of what I was trying to do. <laughs> oh God. Alright, what's going on at Sybil's? Big Lois. Come in two minutes, hypnosis VHS from 18. Welcome! You look like you could use some therapy! Not from a wide eyed circus freak like you. Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Me? Right, you're, uh. Peepers! I don't know what you're talking about. My name is Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. Are you sure your name is Civil, not Peepers? Absolutely. Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. That's me. He's trying to pull a fast one, Sam. Where's your gun? Violence is not the answer. Since when? Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. Obviously. <laughs> Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? Could we see your driver's license or some sort of ID? Sybil. My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic you? 
I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Oddly, I don't think it would. You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm civil pandemic licensed psychotherapist. Right. How about a little analysis? Certainly. Tell me what's bothering you. I've been feeling less frisky than usual. <laughs> well then, you might try Brady Culture's Ibo video. That'll put a spring in your step. Your oh, eyes no. too. Ibo? Yes, my runny poached egg like People eyes. People looking use for work, actual huh? help. You Get won't regret it. Insomnia hypnotherapist. So, so I am going to ask these questions just Who's to get a beat on this guy's person? personality Brady! again. Brady! Brady Culture! He's only the most insightful and amazing man on the planet, that's all. It's not Sean Penn? Not anymore. I'm so disillusioned. What's Hybro exactly? <laughs> Ivo! It's called Ivo! It's a system of ocular exercises! So you can do push-ups with your eyes? Sort of. Just watch the video. Have you got a copy of this cockamamie video? I'm all out, but they probably still got a truckload or two over at Bosco's. Enough said. Something else has been on my mind. Tell me what's bothering you. Every time I watch television, I want to shoot something. Quite normal, but you might want to try regular television. Sounds like a piece of work. Oh, it is. It is. Something else is. Tell me what's. I think I'm hallucinating because you look exactly like the former child star of a 70s TV show to me. How odd. Perhaps you should consider trying Brady Culture's eyeball video. It promotes ocular health and might help with the hallucinations. I'm beginning to sense a certain pattern to your courses of treatment. Well, you have to go with what works. So Tell me what's bothering It's Max. not me, it's Max. Hey! He thinks he's a rabbit. I am a rabbit! See? Yes, well, I would recommend Brady <laughs> Culture's IPO video for this situation. Good at delusions! Mm -hmm. I'm a rabbit! Is that your solution to everything? It's not mine, it's Brady Culture's! But it may very well be the solution to everything, yes. Excuse me. Sure. Okay, so we met our three guys. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing, or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. Impressive credentials. Thank you. I feel better already. It's getting late. Hey, Sam, if it's always getting later Jeez. and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. If global warming is real, why is it cold? <laughs> God. Oops. Oh. What? Great idea. Can I play with that? Ball. It's good exercise for the eyes, but Brady Culture's IFO video is better. I get it. <laughs> it's yeah. a life like for a fake plant. The same could be said for a lot of our friends. So, Sybil hasn't. The actual Sybil is a character in this series. By fine and imprisonment. Yeah. As we found and, out uh, the incident with the garden and she's pretty great because she's always on some new shit. <laughs> like, every episode she's something else. Yeah. And she just kind of jumps... Like, jumps careers constantly. <laughs> Incredible. This place used to be Lefty's tool rental shop. Good old Lefty. I'll miss him. You couldn't stand Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with the number three socket spanner. Exactly. Good times. Looks like there's going to be a lawnmower show. 
great. I love riding mowers. They're like golf carts with teeth. <laughs> Hey, a can of spray paint, and it's not even empty. So that's important. Whee! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Every time you smack him, it takes me completely by surprise. <laughs> I like how high he flies, too. Yeah, just... yeah. Basically, he was on 200, and you just, like, smashed him. <laughs> like, up smashed oh, yeah. him. Up smash. You got up smashed. Oh, and now... Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. Hey, Spex. Excuse us, we've got him. Don't we all? Okay. So now, now I know a little something about this, uh, about this video. Who's there? Oh, it's just you. Hey, Bosco. What can I do for you? Nice place you got here. What's so nice about it? What's with the maximum security prison motif? You'd been robbed as many times as I have, you'd do the same. I've never been robbed, actually. But then I typically point a large firearm at anyone who approaches me. You crack me up, little buddy. How do you get out of that cage, anyway? That's for me to know, and you never to find out. Bosco's Inconvenience. Nice name. It's true. It really is inconvenient. Well, thanks. I try. What were we talking about? We want to buy something. What do you got your eye on? I still want that cheese. Like I said, just bring it to the counter. Nothing for us right now. Okay. Remember what the convers? No, see, he was just acting like he'd already forgotten the conversation. What conversation? Oh, brother. Special on cheese. Yeah. Stop. Sometimes I don't want to click on any of that shit. Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. have it. Do I actually hey, need to buy it? What do you need? We want to buy something. What do you got your eye on? Or do I just... Okay, like... Mac, we want this cheese. Okay. Standard cheese background check. I'll need to see at least six forms of ID, a valid federal cheese license, a completed organ donor card, a written release signed in the presence of a notary public, and your school report cards from the 9th through 12th grades. That's pretty inconvenient. It's okay, Sam. I can be brave. We'll just have to struggle cheeselessly onward. Nothing for us right now. Okay. Thanks, Bosco. Sleep with two eyes open. Well, I still have it, so... Whee! As long as I don't try to leave with it. But, what if Whee! someone else tries to leave with it? Oh, uh, ho, ho, ho. I mean, he's got the place locked down, right? Yeah. Ooh, fun! Uh oh! Time out for number one! I think I remember how that one goes. Jeez. But I think I find that out by, like, actually. Like, trying to leave with someone, it. give them the gift of cheese. Oh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets But I'm him. pretty sure that's the gimmick here. What the? Yeah! Time out for number one. We're saved! That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> 
classic. Just classic. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. Mwahahaha. <laughs> uh, it's still not quite right. <laughs> hey, you just gonna leave him there? <laughs> I don't want to wake him up. So what am I trying to do now? Uh. One is literally more than enough. So... Ooh, fun! <laughs> Perhaps he does. Hey, Bosco. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... You know, we did put the kibosh on that whole terrorist operation, so... How about some free stuff? Is that why you did this? For free stuff? Was this all a part of the plot? Oh, yes, a labyrinth and scheme in which we paid off a former child star to deliver videos to your store just so that we could knock him out via your own security system and claim an undeserved reward. So you admit it. Conspiracy humor may be lost on this crowd. Thanks, Bosco. Don't take any nickels, wooden or otherwise. Coffee. I think it's the tinge of green that I take my Okay. Well, I knocked him out, but to what end? <laughs> <laughs> Can you just like add him to your inventory? I don't want to wake him up. Ah. I see. I'm, I'm just I'm done with this. Alright. That's fair. <laughs> All right, kid. <laughs> Caffeine rush. Sweet carbonated beverages in a pig trough. He's gone. Who would have thought such tiny legs could move so fast? Wow. You made me mess up. <laughs> Caffeine rush. He always sees us coming. You made me mess up. Okay. Hey, Specs. Remember when I pointed a gun at you just now? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> any thoughts on that? <laughs> By the way, we're freelance police. Not gonna file any sort of. Arrest. Oh yeah, no, freelance really police. That's right. Yeah. But thanks anyway. Um. You fat. sure move fast for a man your age. Well, a constant diet of beverages loaded with caffeine and sugar gives me the blood pressure and heart rate of a hummingbird. Sam, what's the lifespan of a hummingbird? Hush, little buddy. Excuse us, we've got important things to do. Don't we all? Well, I did get a can of spray paint. I don't want to get into a paint fight in my good suit. Do I give it to him? Caffeine rush. He always sees us coming. What? You right. made me mess up. Oh, it was... Okay. There's another graffiti over here, right? They say graffiti is the poetry of... Just what we... This could use a little improvement. Hey, hey, hey! You messed it up! Oh, now I've gotta fix 
said brain freeze. Now I have access to where he was. Huh. There appears to be a panel here. This could use a little improvement. Jellicle songs for jellicle cats. Jellicle cats. Jellicle cats dropping jellicle cats. Mr. Aladdin, sir, what could your thing be? I reached the top and had to stop, and that's what's bothering me. Whee! The fucking cat's a big frickin' cat! Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jellicles! Rum Tum Tugger! Could use a little improvement. But I said not to mess with my painting. Okay. Did. What, was I supposed to just deface them all? Uh... I'm a little unsure of what the puzzle exactly is here. I feel like you because like they're they're just fixed. What we need. More oh, wait. Lame poetry. I think you basically graffiti. just use them to just what we move need. him around for reasons which are not really clear to me. <laughs> oh, I think I get it. I spray paint this one, I think then I can here. drop some shit on him. Oh. What's the matter with you? Are you crazy? Step aside, brain freeze. That's probably what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, there's a boxing glove right there. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. And I think... I need to put a hand in the boxing glove, right? Oh, but I'm gonna try it without that just to to get the prompt to say that I need to do that. My arms won't reach that far, and I don't want to drop this. Okay. On this week's edition of Oh, Is He Still Alive? <laughs> we look at the stars of the 1970s television Great. hit, The Soda Poppers. <laughs> I love shows that destroy all our cherished delusions about the stars we once loved. During the Soda Poppers' heyday, young Spex was the role model for obsessive neat freaks all over the globe. Ticker tape free, ticker tape parades were thrown in honor of the Soda Popper, who never missed a spot. Backstage, though, things were quite a bit dirtier. Speck's obsession with perfection caused massive delays in shooting and infuriated co-workers. He famously demanded over 11,000 retakes of the line, You made me mess up! Made all the more annoying because of his tendency to repeat the line immediately after reading it. Following the show, Spex was rarely seen in public, although he did make one ill-fated venture into celebrity tag team mud wrestling, getting pinned in a record three seconds as he desperately tried to wipe down the ring with a dish rag. The meltdown utterly enraged his tag team partner and good friend, the dog from My Mother the Dog, who stormed out of the arena without a word. They haven't spoken since. Coming up next, the soda popper who couldn't always keep it in. Oh, you got a bowling ball there. Where? Uh, right, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. Do I have that? I have that. Okay. 
That's that's pretty easy and obvious then. Yeah. <laughs> Sam and Max engage in domestic terrorism. Yeah. <laughs> nah. No, not myself. <laughs> <laughs> no. Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. <laughs> you made me mess up. Well. Oh. That's <laughs> <laughs> and now this is quality television. I like how they have to just like murder all of these child stars. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> better, better. Well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. <laughs> Maybe just one more second. Okay, let's go. The thing is, I can't, like, look at slapstick cartoon shit and be like, fuck, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, anytime I see that, I'm like, god damn. <laughs> you good. Tiny hoodlums. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. It is off in the feed. I, I did the best I could. Sorry. Oh yeah. It was as good as I could get it at the moment. Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? Because I'm surprise. using a different layout for this because it wouldn't work with my capture card very easily. So I just murdered two children. Yeah. Now to murder my last children. Child. Yeah. Only one child left. <laughs> one child remains. Third murder is a charm. <laughs> it's like some GTA like thing up in the HUD where it's just like one, two of Talks three of children murdered. Dad, aren't yeah. Really the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. The tiki. Ah, the Tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. <laughs> there, There is a Moai Head episode, and it's the most ass-backwards shit. Yeah. I, I had the worst time with that one. Ah, the Tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. Hey, peepers. Sybil! Right. You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm Sybil Bandemic. Right. Yeah. Excuse me for a minute, would you? From... Sure! I can see you! Whoa! Where'd he go? Hey, there he is! You at... Just comes naturally, Oops. I guess. I have the strangest urge to redecorate. Fight it, Sam! Fight it! <laughs> I don't think I actually tried to go in here before. Thank God! I've been locked in that closet so long I was oh. starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. I've got to sit down. Oh my God! He's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! <laughs> He's my pal. <laughs> We're friends with that <laughs> overgrown sociopathic child? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant this overgrown sociopathic child. I thought psychotherapists didn't use words like lunatic. Really? Does it say that in the handbook? The psychotherapist's handbook or the lunatic's handbook? There's a difference? Ooh. What's the charge? Assault, Sick kidnapping, identity theft. Those are good charges. Some of my favorites. And what about mopery? He locked me in the closet, and he's been <laughs> pretending he's me. Gadzooks, why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. 
There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference or latent unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. Great thundering jellyfish. We know how this goes. Hypnosis. Yep. We've seen this already. I, <laughs> I think I did this. I think I sequence broke this a little bit. A little. How can you tell? He looks so normal and lifelike. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. It takes a professional eye. Can we borrow your eye? We'll bring it back. Are there steps we can take? Soothing music or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. There's where it knock comes them unconscious. in. Okay. Now you're talking. I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done. Yep. There's where it comes in. Ah. I can see you. Oh yeah. Please stop doing that. So he can see me. That's that's his whole thing. Being able to see all the time. Anything in this room that can reverse his power of sight. I mean so this is a stupid idea, but um, yeah, I'm taking those. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what if you like get the fan to just like blow on his eyes a bunch? Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Uh, it just has cheeky dialogue when I. Said okay. That. But I am taking any and all stupid ideas too. Yeah. Nice cactus. Saguaro? Vinyl. Hey, if you dip that in ink, you could do 30 tattoos at once. If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. Okay. Tear gas. I need tear gas. Oh. Um. Gotta go get yourself $10,000 reduced. I don't... Oh, what? Here, I'll do this. Dr. Max above that. What should we do with Sleeping Beauty over there? The therapist lady said she'd show us. Lovely weather we're having, isn't it? So balmy and sulfurous, it makes me want to feed expired food products to stray animals and homeless people. Head like a watermelon and a heart to match. That's my pal. What should we do with so Sleeping Beauty same, over there? Uh, same dialogue. Yep. Let's get cracking. Yeah. Did we check this? Tampering with the did. mail is a federal offense. Yes, it is. As we found. Where are we going, Sam? Oh. Sweet. Let's give a ticket to a rich criminal. Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! Yeah, just set up speed traps and we'll have we'll have it in no time. By the way, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already planning on it, little buddy. Oh, God. I think I gotta do tricks on ramps, right? I mean... That makes sense. Yeah. Ah, oh God, I can't see from here.
Oh, right. Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. Oops. Please accept my condolences for your taillight. Sam 1, taillight 0. I could do this all day. Please accept my condolence. Alright, so if that be a warning to you. <laughs> oh, oh, I think I, I see what I gotta do. I gotta find a rich looking car. How's this one? Not particularly. Wait. Oh, you've got a megaphone. Oh. Suppose I should use that first. This is your first and final warning. Pull over or die. So, suppose I should use Hello. the megaphone first. We're freelance police. And you're not. Ergo, we call the shots around here. Oh, why did you stop me? You were swerving all over the road like a drunken roller skater on wet ice. That was you. Oh, yeah. We'll take it ourselves later. For now, we have more innocent victims to pull over. Ta-ta. Okay, I see. <laughs> so I shoot the taillights out. Hmm, no one seems to be breaking the law today. I know. What? Hold on a sec. Gotta... No. Shit, did I just... Oh, no. What's up? Um... Um, oh, shit. Eh. Hey, is the stream still happening? Oh, okay. Um, it, all right. Because uh, OBS closed. Um, and, uh, yeah. And, okay. If it's still have like, I can't actually see anything that's happening now. Um, at least as far as the stream's concerned. Um, I did get the chat back up. Sam 1, tail life 0. I could do this all day. Pull over, or we'll be forced to destroy your car and its occupants, if any. Greetings, anonymous motorist. If you were planning to bribe us, now would be the appropriate time. What's the charge? Your taillight's busted. But you're the ones who broke it. Your point being... Hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? Why, isn't it $10,000? What, are you crazy? One second, allow me to confer with my legal counsel. <clears throat> my attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now. If you'll excuse <laughs> us, we got some accounting to do. Thanks, sucker. <laughs> so is everything in the stream working right now? Like, like the webcam, the chat, and the thing? So all that, all that is there. I don't know how that happened. Or how to fix it, really. Hmm. 
but that's okay. As long as as long as the stream is occurring, that's all I need. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Bosco. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh. Mm-hmm. We want to buy something. What do you got your eye on? We got your tear gas money right here. Really? All right, here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Oh, by the way, did I mention my automated defense system? No. What's it do? The 10000 just covered the cost of materials, you know. Oh, I'm sure. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. <laughs> Jeff Schling's gonna have so much bootleg Russian shit by the end. Yeah. By the end of the computer career. Yeah. Which will never end. see me if I shoot you with a real gun. Can you see me if I shoot you with a banned Geneva oh, Convention civil? weapon? Yes. Uh, the other civil. What is that? Don't worry. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> but it will make you cry. <laughs> now I'm gonna send you a picture of me. Woo! Some ass. Now, peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding. It'll definitely hurt you more. Sweet dreams, peeps. I can see you. <laughs> oh my, that was great. That was great. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins. The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me. Rue the day, I say. <laughs> There you go. Nice work. That's the laugh. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. Take control of your mind. I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What? Hey, what am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? Oh, My name's not Sybil. It's Peepers. Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream. And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes, Brady Culture was there. He kept telling me to do stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew it. That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember... Oh, okay. I got the old stream back. Former child stars. He has his own nut house. Okay, we gotta meet this guy. Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness. In a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can. Sorry. Oh dear. <laughs> Wouldn't be a basement quality stream without some weird, unexplainable bug. Yeah. Hey, hey Sam. That's true. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of Wacko. I wish there was some way I could repay you. Have you got ten grand? I'm new at this. I have a lot of student loans. Great! Loan us a student. I can ride it around like a pony. It's nice to see you show such enthusiasm. Ow. Security. 
Max might like a tattoo. Oh yeah, I want a map of the Netherlands on my Netherlands. <laughs> I get the cold shivers just thinking about remembering hearing you say that. <laughs> I'm out of the tattoo business anyway. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. Can you fix cars? Ours sometimes makes a noise like an orangutan with the dry heaves. Um, that's my fault. I've been keeping an orangutan in the trunk. Oh, never mind. I'm not much of a mechanic anyway, except with unicycles. Yeah. I suppose you could psychoanalyze me. Hey, yeah, I could count your marbles for you. I have a license, you know. Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink blots. We could try some free association. I could interpret your dreams for you. Yeah. How do ink blots let's, work? Let's do and this. Can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions or uh, obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. In these and the eyes of a dead mine. A pair of oxen boxing in a rowboat. There's any uh any preferences? Me personally. I like pennies on the eyes of a dead mine. Sounds good to me. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mine. Interesting. Now, how about this one? Bunch of bacteria playing basketball. Visions on the marquee at a man's Chinese theater. Uh, SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. Or the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. <laughs> uh, I like a, an SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. An SUV so crashing into an opulent mansion. And this? A squirrel that got ran over twice. My Uncle Louie's moth-eaten wallet. Coded love notes from space aliens. And an autograph written in Braille. Coded love notes from space aliens. Coded love notes from space aliens. Alien love notes. Interesting. Now this one. What do you see? Uh, elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. Good. The exhaust manifold of a bread truck. And 20 nuns with machine guns. Lanky albinos. A TBH. cheering crowd of lanky albinos. That sounds good and to me. this one? Blotchy thing, a flashbulb just to your eyes. Good. An orangutan escaping from the trunk of a DeSoto. A war between two teams of abstract shapes and a debit card fed through a document shredder. Uh, the orangutan. Oh, yeah. An orangutan trying to escape from the trunk of a DeSoto. <laughs> hmm. Your responses are kind of all over the map. I can't tell a whole lot from them. Sorry. Thanks. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Can we do some more ink blocks? So now we got entertaining. Sure. Let's take another look. At, take a look. The results of the last time I let Max drive. Seems to all be right. All about what? Now, how about this one? About shit Max did. Yeah. Or maybe all about driving. Yeah, all crashing, crashing probably. into an opulent mansion. And this? A well, squirrel that got, that ran, got over. ran over twice. Now this one. What do you see? Yeah, the the exhaust manifold of a bread truck. And this one? An orangutan trying to escape from the trunk of a DeSoto. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, okay. okay. Show a marked obsession with cars. You should see my Uncle Louie. He married one. Really? Thanks, Doc. <laughs> What's free association like? It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. 
dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? <laughs> is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Now there's a fiasco waiting to happen. Now there's a fiasco. Oh. All right. Yeah. What what was the word? <laughs> uh, tumbleweed. Tumbleweed. Sure. Eucalyptus. Interesting. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Promenade. I see. Comb. Lamp black. What an unusual response. <laughs> well, this has been illuminating. What's the verdict? I'll let you know after years of insanely expensive treatment. Anything to support small local businesses. We can always sell organs on the black market to raise the cash. Just so they're not ours, little buddy. Can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Yowch! Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, here goes. My dreams always start in the office, but this time things were different. Mmm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? Remember uh, Katana Zero? When you'd have a bunch of crazy oh, like, yeah. dreams and shit, and it would be different every time? Yeah. It was Bosco, from the inconvenience store. Ah, yes. You go to him when you need things. Yes, he represents your <laughs> father. Bosco's my daddy? Uh, symbolically, yes. Literally, I sure hope not. In your dream, was Bosco doing anything peculiar? He did say something rather unexpected. I may not show it much, but I love you, Sam. Now go wash my car. Yes, that's just what I expected. I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Mmm, the rats are pests. They represent something bothersome. Tell me, what was in the hole? It was that staple office knickknack, the clacking balls. Not unlike the ones on your what desk. What is this? What oh, am I doing here? Do you not like the balls? No, Sybil, I don't like the balls. Well. <laughs> I didn't notice anything unusual there. Then why do you mention it? I don't know. Interesting. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, sounds like you and your special guest there were having a little celebration. What did you get? A wedding cake. It was cake. a wedding cake, ripe for the toppling. A wedding cake? <laughs> you want to marry her? Uh, well, let me just say, I hope you two will be very happy together. Uh, thanks. To leap out of I the feel like you don't oh, want us to be successful. Your dream? But, yep, but me and Bosco, we're gonna I show you all. <laughs> all right. Perfect. Well, actually, let's save the psychoanalysis for later. I don't know what any mm. of that was. Postpone yeah. Responsibilities. Interesting. We can build this thing together. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's gonna stop us now. Okay. So I murdered all the children. Yeah, absolutely. I extorted about everyone I could extort. Oh, you have to maybe drag the rest of the children back to the uh, therapy parlor? Perhaps. <clears throat> uh, 
Take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby. What? He's back. Oops. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's 227 something. Wizard would remember the street. He always does the driving. Can you take us there? Are you kidding? I've got hours, hours of ironing to do. Well, that was helpful. All right. So now I can just, like, cure people of psychoanalysis. Dude, you're basically a licensed psychotherapist now. I'm basically. I have about as much qualifications as she has. Yeah, Hello. yeah. <laughs> Take control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Well, where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, we're freelance police. Police? Oh no! He's getting away in that truck! Quick, follow that soda popper. Alright. I mean, we've all been there. Yeah. Hurry, Sam. He's getting you know, away. Uh, yeah, like, come back to, like, this baby that you tricked into being knocked unconscious by uh, an intensely paranoid man's, like, security system. Watch out! Um... Oh, shit. And he wakes up and he's telling your cops and he's like, Ah, oh, jeez it, it's the cops. Oh, shit. Oh! I, I go to exactly where my mouse is. Oh. That, that's actually very helpful. There are lyrics to this song. It's like talking about what's going on right now. Oh man! <laughs> They're like, get the soda poppers, got to chase them. I don't know. Think I don't know how that actually goes. Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just you always see cops on the news beating up some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. I mean. Oh. Why didn't you Except say for those so? three, it's right over three there. times. Just Across the street. Yeah. Jumping elephant flames. <laughs> How devilishly convenient. Thanks. Um, does anyone know where I can find a bathroom? <laughs> Gotta go pee! Uh, yeah. <laughs> you have to go pee. Pee pee. Hee hee. <laughs> Looks like a shifty character to me. Don't they all? Whoa. Max, shit. Disturbing yeah. little monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> Pee! <laughs> I guess this is where you stick your admission form. Alright, I'll grab one. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder sounds tasty what's in it apparently it's common in former child stars symptoms include uh, let's see obsession with money violent reactions to dentistry and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older for so you don't even know what that means do you no okay. well, but it sounds all classically that? literate hmm it says here they only treat patients order Apparently, it's common in former obsession with money, money. violent reactions to dentistry, reactions. and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Okay. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Okay. It is pee time o'clock. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Baby. <laughs> Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you! Can we do let's some do more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Obsessions. Sure, let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. So money. Ah, uh, pennies. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mine. Interesting. Now, how about this one? Peter. Opulent mansion? Sure. An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. And this? My Uncle Louie's moth-eaten wallet. Now this one. What do you see? New York Elephants Stock Exchange. Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. Okay, okay. And this one? So I'm establishing my obsession with money right now. Oh, of course. Debit card. A debit card bed, bed through a document shredder. Hmm. Well, judging by your responses, you seem to be fairly obsessed with That's money. That's a symptom of artificial Whoa. personality disorder. I'd better mark it on your chart. Okay. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. Whatever you say, Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. Tomato, oh, tomato. Hey, I'm Psychovision. Let's try some more food presentations. <coughs> That will tell us more about so your violent reactions, reactions to, dentistry. to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Sure, go ahead. Cow. Hullabaloo. Mm-hmm. How about this word? Drill. Does it have to be at her? Whoa! Don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Dryer. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. <laughs> oh, we're still doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Sample size. Really? Interesting. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes. Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent oh, totally. reaction to dentistry. You the podiatrist. <laughs> it could be symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. I, I really like that I pull chart. a gun on her and she's like, whoa, okay, let's move on then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's ask <laughs> the <laughs> next <laughs> question. All right, Am next question. <laughs> I don't want to alarm uh, you, next. but probably. Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. I'd like to tell you about another mundane but strangely <laughs> compelling dream I had. All right, let's examine your disturbing subconscious so, desire. Subconscious <laughs> desire to want to see your okay, peers get older. Okay, tell me what happened. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? I would say that Max. Yeah. Would be. It would be Max for sure. It was yeah. Max. Ah, uh, yes, your imaginary friend. <laughs> me. I'm standing right next to you, lady. In your dream, was Max doing anything <laughs> unusual? Well, he was saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the tune of Camptown Races. I pledge allegiance to my gun, doo-da, doo-da. But that's not unusual. Um... Nothing unusual there. I haven't seen it much in episode one, but like when you're trying to just like try things on stuff, he'll be like, I don't have any use for that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing doing. 
But nothing unusual there. I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Something bothersome. What was it? I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, not sure about those. Because I tried the clacking dwells with Bosco. That didn't work. Maybe, maybe it'll be different. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. No, none, none of those of seem to be related to like Max growing old, older. It was that staple office yeah. knickknack, the clacking balls, not unlike the ones on your desk. Oh, do you not like the balls? No, Sybil, I don't like the balls. Well, I noticed something weird sticking out. Something. Actually. <laughs> well, nothing bothers you. It's always bothered. I noticed something. Let's try it Some... all. Whatever. It was a poor little fish gasping for air, and yet totally unharmed, in case you're a member of an animal cruelty organization. Hmm, a fish out of water. Perhaps you're bothered by feelings that you don't belong. Maybe so. But trust me, Sam, you belong in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed something weird sticking out. Some... Okay, so... It was a hot weenie of indeterminate maturity. Okay, a weenie there we in a rat hole. Nope, no symbolism there. Oh. I Good. realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? It was Max. Ah, yes, your imagine. Um. Uh, in the other the part of the room, the there's oh? Jesse James's severed hand. <laughs> well, only in a dream, huh? Um, in the other part of the room, there's uh the the cake decision. Yes. I had just gotten something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? Birthday. Yeah. It was an overly yeah, frosted yeah, yeah. birthday cake. Wait a second. The birthday cake, your friend... Uh, okay. You subconsciously want to see your peers get older. I could have told okay, you that. that. that was this all is a definite me? symptom right. of artificial personality <laughs> disorder. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I mean... There was a birthday cake serious. and my friend was I've there at the end. I've chart. <laughs> It must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the. You said all the things that make me think. Paper out of this. Yeah. To some sort of home for former child stars, then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide. No. <laughs> all right. So now. So I got the form, I got the form. Okay. Oh yeah, going, there's a phrase that I, I say a lot that's going to come from, uh, from this. Oh? Back to Brady Culture's home. We'll, we'll the get there. Stars. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> God. Hate it. Wow, fuck that. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> There's just Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? Pulchritude above doubts. This is Culture's Clubhouse. Jumping Lon Chaney in a bottle fright wig. 
Brady culture, I presume. You know who I am? <laughs> wow, evil plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The freelance police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Allow me to explain. <coughs> Uh-oh. I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I never <laughs> wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no. Those worthless hacks, the soda poppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles. They came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor mass hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever. How cruel. Is it over? I think so. So? Whoops. Since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. In yours. Hey, that tickles! Become Video Delivery Man. What? What's happening? Oh, no! Oh, no! What, what are you doing? I don't know. I... You were in on it all along. I told you it was a conspiracy. I told you, but then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA. Call Interpol. Call Mickey Rooney. Must deliver Mickey Rooney videos. I must deliver videos. Okay, so... How can I agree? Hey, my Sorry. beloved weapons are gone. I must deliver video... I must deliver videos. Oh, I can't whoop my own. I'm kicking my own butt. Butt. I must um, I must I must deliver I know I do I must deliver videos um, So I gotta steal something accidentally Can you steal the cheese? There's a cheese there again Too far Okay Yeah it looks like it It's got a Oh, don't even try it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> uh oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. You love me. You adore me. Become. Video delivery man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam, I'm up here. Oh, hi, little buddy. Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy, I'll save you. <laughs> you can't shoot me. I'm incandescent. The thing about guns in this game is that, like... I don't want to pop him. Directly shooting anything is never the, the answer. <laughs> like, nothing will let you just shoot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
I will be number one in the ratings. Now, and thanks to cable, it's Brady Culture on TV. Yes, right where I belong. Everyone watch me. Me! <laughs> It's just a dream, Sam. Huh? What is this thing? Sweet rodent eating disorders. That is one fat rat. Oh. Weird. So you, you open the closet door and then you blow up the rat and you go eat that one. Oh. I will be universally loved by everyone. Hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. No, the cheese must stand alone. <laughs> and another one bites the cheese. A deep side of Twitch. Enigmatic. What's it pointing at? Brady culture has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. Uh, what? Could, could uh, it be no! that simple? Oh, that uh, Brady oh, wow. culture. He turns the world off with his smile. Sounds like it could. So then... All right. What is this doing here? Hey, it's loose. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> that was the most fun I've had since I lost my body. Let's do it again. Hmm, what now? Yay! <laughs> that was great. But Sam, if you'll notice, I'm right back where I started. Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. Okay. So... Can you, like, talk to the one that's just standing there? Again, just like scoot his body. Oh, and it feels good too. Probably. I just love my new furry paws and cute little tail. Hey, don't touch my tail, you psychopathic body stealer! Ooh, just let me at him. Right hmm. to you. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll get you. Hurry, Sam! I've got an itch. I can't scratch. got to be some way to manipulate them to you want to name every single one of your children after me queer <laughs> odd um Dance, puppet, dance. I'll just check out these two things. Interesting. I haven't clicked on them yet. I may not show it much, <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> now go wash my car. <laughs> <laughs> Dude at the feet. Didn't hurt. <laughs> no. Michael! It didn't hurt, Michael! <laughs> uh. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Yay! I'm right back where I started! Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. Oh, hanger. Oh! I wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! Oh, I that was another on one to... for all eternity. Okay. No! Oh, oh yes, that's much better reception. That was another one I had to defeat. Okay. I didn't even know that was... Why am I lugging around a coat hanger again? Please, Sam, put it back on the TV. I'm begging you! No. Give it up. That'll never work. 
Do I use that on the smoke? I can't think of a logical reason why you'd ever do that. Yeah. But, yeah. but adventure That's video game. Work in a dream. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Maybe. I think I've done enough pumping for one trip. Can you stick the coat hanger in the fish tank? I not even any conceivably dream. can. Let's do that. Or it's not a fish tank; it's a water cooler. Yeah. Can you do it anyway? That doesn't even work in a dream. <laughs> no. Evidently not. Okay. What if the coat hanger goes on the coat not rack? Even in a dream. <laughs> Can you do anything that's, with the coat rack? That's just completely far fetched. It's just a dream, Sam. Okay. What, what else do I have? That is there something on the? Is that like a clam or something on the little tree behind the the guy? Named after me. Yeah, like the, I don't know. It's not something you can interact with. So fuck it. Okay, it's not. Is I am Brady Culture. That doesn't even work in a dream. Okay. Um. Shit. Wait. Wait a minute. There's something here. I Brady. Think. Oh. Brady. What the fuck is the smoke? Right. Strange. Looks like I'm done with that. Why, yes, this is my real. What is this doing here? Hey, it's loose. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> that was the most fun I've had since I lost my body. Let's do it again, Sam. Hmm. What now? Yay! <laughs> That was great, but Sam, if you'll notice, I'm right back where I started. Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. Okay. So what I think it is, is there's just something to click on that I just haven't found. Um, because I can't use the coat hanger on the Brady coat rack. Culture. Okay. That's just ridiculous. Country, don't you think? Uh, I, I just looked up the solution. Okay. Uh, so Take just go stand, go stand under Max's head. Okay. And then shoot the sign. Oh! Brady Culture is the man of okay. your dreams. Yeah. Whatever. I don't... I don't see myself figuring that one out on my own. Yeah, that... It's a bit of a one. Whee! Whoa! Gotcha! Yay! Okay. <laughs> Uh, only because I just did not think of shooting the sign at all. Oh, Mr. Okay. Culture, I have a surprise for you. Really? For me? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, my. So, all three of the soda poppers just had this big-ass puzzle in their Thanks, brain? Sam. A little stringy, but good. That all just, just happened in the course of a second. Bye, Max. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, uh. oh no, he's awake. We're done for. Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay, but what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator, holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter. That hirsute egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy. Any idea how I can curtail this culture crisis? Brady culture? Ibo man, stay away from him. He's got it in for me. Sorry, Bosco, no can do. I've got to save my free little pal. 
I don't suppose you have a Bosco Tech device that stymies hypnosis-inducing energy beams. A hypnosis blocker? I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've got to find something quick. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. I'm not going back to that asylum until I've got a working defense against that dastardly hypnotic ray. All right. Perhaps a psychotherapist would know. Maybe. Doc. Max is gone. Well, most of us outgrow our imaginary friends eventually. No, that megalomaniac Brady Culture's got him. I see. Of course. Hang on. Were you implying that Max is imaginary? I wasn't implying anything, though he does seem a little improbable. You see him too, though, right? True, but then I'm a psychotherapist. <laughs> I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh... <laughs> Great suffering lab rats. You do know something. Out with it, before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Well, it's a gross <laughs> breach of doctor-patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky what? break I need. <laughs> it's a huge violation of every uh -huh. reasonable code of ethical conduct, of course. But, you're you, but you so. being a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. Hmm. My lack of solid engineering background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. I'd love to help, but engineering is one of the few fields I haven't tried. Sorry. Yeah. Do I get a clear look at this thing? That won't help me decipher this diagram. Looking at it? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh, shit. Um... One of the things was a uh, coat hanger. No, ba so. Bosco was saying that he didn't know where to begin. Ah, okay. You okay? Yep. <laughs> I don't suppose you have a Bosco... A hypnosis blocker? I've got to... Yeah. Thanks, Use Bosco. Do me pr Bosco, take a gander at this. What is it, a death threat? Even better. It's instructions for the latest in Bosco tech innovation. Hmm, let's see a condo for that, yeah. Yeah, I can build this. Just need one thing. What's that? Something for that antenna thing at the top. Antenna, got it. Oh. Who knows what we could use for that. <laughs> this leisurely stroll. Yeah, he's got he's got a real laid back walk. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's like, he's like, oh, is it five o'clock yet? Yeah. Max isn't gonna like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've got to tell him as soon as possible.
Gotta go fast. All right, Bosco. Here's the one ingredient to well, this thing that you don't have already. Yeah, okay. Let me just add a little Bosco Tech innovation. And here it is, the most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world has ever seen. Happy days are here again. Uh oh, seems like the old moolah gauge is running on empty. I take it. Just stop that Brady culture. He's got it in for me. You're a credit to dementia, Bosco. You'll have to pay for the next one, though. Alright. Got Puzzle. him. Puzzle solved. Puzzle defeated. <laughs> Puzzle defeated. Break the targets. I'm coming, Max. Just had to fart around at home for a while. Well, Rule just number three. Now. Always wear protective headgear when confronting diabolical villains with hypnotic devices. Yep. That's the third one on the list. Yep. It's true. Hand over the Lagomorph culture. Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. Johann Sebastian here only knows how to play one song. What's this? A rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized episode? <laughs> well, if you really want to watch it again. What? Another triumph for skanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchenware. Give it up, culture. Your quiche is Time out for the cavalry! You've colored outside the lines of the law, Brady culture. We see you! And this time we're... Going to get hypnotized again. <laughs> I'm sure you all remember the commands I taught you. So now, my foolish pawns... Attack the dog! That's it. That's the line. <laughs> Attack the dog! Attack the dog. Right. So. So if I just tell them. Attack Brady Culture. No! Attack the dog! Become. Come yourselves. Attack the dog. Ow. Attack the dog. I do know what to say though. Oh, okay. I I do remember this one a little bit. Because he's like such a such a narcissist. I believe this. I don't know if I have to do something else first. Attack me. Whoops. <laughs> oh, never mind. Um, I have to. I have to kind of butter him up. You may first. as well give up now, culture. Your hypnotic ray thing and Madoodle won't work on me anymore. True, but I have my adoring minions. Yeah, they don't really like you though. Shut up. They do so. I force them to. <laughs> Attack yourselves. Dogs! Attack the dog! <laughs> okay. You should surrender. I've got the place surrounded. Liar, liar, pants on fire. It's not too late to give up and come along peacefully. I'm rubber, your glue. Bounce off me and stick to you. <laughs> Become me. Somersaulting Democrats in a crate of sauerkraut. <laughs> hey, you top razor to swallow. <laughs> you crack me up, little buddy. Who's next to be? Stop this foolishness. Attack the dog. <laughs> ah, shit, I'm trying to remember the order I have to do. Become Brady Culture. <laughs> do my evil bidding. Worship. The videotapes! What nonsense! 
Attack the dog! Ouch! Damn it. Worship Brady culture. Ha <laughs> ha! You may as well give up now, culture. Your hypnotic ray thingamadoodle won't work on me anymore. True, but I have my adoring minions. Yeah, they don't really like you, though. Shut Can you Her fuck ship. with other shit in the room now? Uh, possibly, but... Worship me. No, me, me, worship me. You're my minions, mine. Attack me. No, me! Attack me! Me, me, me! That's yes. it. That, that's what I was trying to do. Hey, <laughs> yeah. That's what I remembered. <laughs> hey, my move, Sam. You played him like a two-dollar glockenspiel. I learned all my best tactics in the first grade. Attack I me! I signals with my ears, but you know how I always get the K and the V mixed up. You crack me up, little buddy. Well, I guess we should dehypnotize these poor saps again and be on our way. Let me! You know how I adore gratuitous violence. Well, that's that, Max. Another boot to the pasty ass of crime. Thank goodness this whole <laughs> hypnotic mind control thing didn't go any further. That could have been really annoying. It's great to be on your show, Myra. I'm a huge fan. I just can't seem to stop watching for some reason. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so so there are uh, there are catchphrases. I guess they don't come back in this one. Okay. But you have to like use those later. In okay. one of the later episodes. In one of the later episodes. Yeah. That makes sense. Because I thought I thought that was all part of the like you use those to manipulate Brady's shit, but I guess oh. not. I guess it was just the worship me, and then he's like, no, and then you're like, attack me. He's like, no, attack me. Attack the dog. Attack the dog. <laughs> I say that to my dog right before I like. Attack throw, them. Before I attack them. Before <laughs> I, uh, before I throw, uh, like, the ball. Oh, and yeah. Attack the dog! And then he runs away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And tries to get it. And then he brings it back to me, expecting me to throw it again, but won't relinquish it to me. It's, <laughs> it's such a child thing. It's just like, n no. It like that old meme, the... No take, only throw. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> like, get real excited about it. <laughs> like, please, please like, throw. I'm, I'm no. not. I'm not. He's like, yeah, throw it again. But no, I'm not gonna give it that back to you. So that that was Sam and Max. That's good. That, that game was great. I only had to look up the answer once. Yeah. And it was just because of some little thing. Yeah, it's just it's just like one of the weird things that you like. You don't think to do. Yeah, the mo I had all, one. You always have the gun. Yeah, the mo I had one it. though is kind of garbage like that. Oh yeah. I hate that one. Yeah, for sure. Uh, there, there's one, like, later that's, like, Night of the Raving Dead. And you have to, like, put these words together. And there's, like, this part where it's, like, Bone, Blood, Sepulchre! And it's... It, it's just, anytime I hear the word Sepulchre, I think of this. Because you don't <laughs> hear that word very often. No. But, but sometimes you do, but I, I always hear it pronounced, like, in the episode of this. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. But, uh, that that was Samuel and Maximilian. Yeah. Good one. Thanks for tuning in all these.